Welcome everyone to event number 8 of Season 1 Monster Jam Points Competition. So that is right guys, this is event number 8, we only have two more events to go, and then we will do our award ceremony, or point ceremony, I don't even know what to call it anymore. Anyway, so I will go over your previous champ, and I will go over points, uh, first clip, uh, basically at the end clip. So yeah, so your previous champion is Mac Bulldog Mac, and they split paint job Fire and Ice Grave Digger. He is the first race of round number one going up against Fire Zombie. So that'll be a race to see. And then we'll just keep on going down here. I'm not gonna say um, who's like who's in the top ten in points because I'll do that at the end for our overall points for this whole entire season. We got a lot of great races here in round number one. And we're going to be ending it all off with Reveal the Steel, Mohawk Warrior, and Fire Whiplash. So, here's the track before we start. Just the normal track, and then we got the normal... Golly, that board is disgusting. And we got our two little sneak holes for the trucks to go. I actually want to see if a truck can fit in the hole. If they were to just... Oh yeah, they can. And how about here? Oh yeah, they can. Alright, just had to double check, that's all. Anyways, uh, time to get event number 8 started. But first up, it is the Split Paint Job Fire and Ice Grave Digger taking on Fire Zombie. It is crucial that Mac Bulldog Mac gets this win in round one. Oh, it looks like he will. We'll check the board. Yeah, he's got two tires up there, I can tell. Fire Zombie's got one tire, so Grave Digger's moving on. Oh, and by the way, I'm sorry if my camera keeps on going in and out of focus. I know this is a really crappy camera. I don't know if I said that in the last event or not, but... Oh well. And it's gonna be Zombie Moak Warrior. It's gonna be the gold Bakugan Dragonoid with a block. It looks like it's gonna be the Elemental Grave Digger, so that's an upset right there. Oh, a bad flip for Red Max D. That's gonna give the win to the Fire Mohawk Warrior. And it's going to be Inverse Alien Invasion. Ooh, let's check the balances. Actually, no, Crustacean will get the win. We got our first Zombie versus Hunter battle, so this will be a good race. And it's going to be Max D getting the win. Ooh, let's check these balances here. El Toro Loco is not pressed up against there. Neither is Whiplash, but Whiplash is a lot closer. Then El Toro Loco. So Whiplash is moving on. Oh, I don't know what the heck happened to Soldier Fortune. Doesn't matter. Fire Megalodon's moving on. It's gonna be Zombie Blue Thunder with a block. Ooh. They both turned sideways, but you can tell right there. Wonder Woman Reveal the Steel is moving on. like another zombie versus hunter battle i'm pretty sure that is the exact two times in a row son of digger has done a wheelie like that but oh well megalodon's moving on pretty sure it's gonna be the zombie monster mutt yeah he's pressed up against their bounty hunter is not even close to it so Z monster mutt is moving on Ooh, queen b i think we'll get it with that slight turn and yeah, it looks like he will. Yeah, he will. Ooh, Dragon had the lead. Oh, I thought Soldier Fortune was coming back, but no, Dragon is moving on. It's going to be Team Mints with a block. Big win for Nitro Neon's Jurassic Attack. Oh, bad flip for Soldier Fortune. Grave Digger's moving on. It's going to be Stone Crusher. I don't know what the heck happened in Northern Nightmare. It did not look like he fell off the side. Doesn't matter. Black O Max is moving on. It's going to be Soldier Fortune Black Ops Fire with a block. What a race by both trucks. Avengers touch- no, he's not touching the wall, but he's a lot closer than Octonator, so Avengers moving on. Ooh, Mystery Machine will lose to Reveal the Steel Captain's Curse. And 
Dodge, what a race! Golly! They'll both turn sideways, but you can tell that tire's out from Ice Dragonoid. And he'll get the win. What a race! I am officially dubbing that the race of the season. And BKT is moving on. Raisin Kane is going to move on and he'll get the win. Nice wheelie by Zombie, but that bounce costed him big time. Earthshaker's moving on. Maximum Destruction had the lead, and he gets a little push from Zombie El Toro Loco for the win. Oh, they both have bad flips, but Gravedigger had the better run. There we go. All right, let's check out the bounces here. Salvager has one tire up there, and Pirate's Curse does not have a tire. That was a bad bounce. So Salvager's moving on. And your final race of round number one is going to be between Fire Whiplash and the Review of the Steel Mohawk Warrior. I'm also sorry if the camera's shaky, but that was another cool race. Fire Whiplash will get the win. Alrighty guys, so these 32 trucks do get a total of one point for event number eight. So sorry guys, better luck next time. So, here are your trucks in round number two. We are going to kick it all off with your previous champ taking on Zombie Mohawk Warrior. And then we have a lot of great races here in round number one. I think that's our first ever zombie versus zombie battle in round two. Yeah, a lot of great races here in round number two. And it did all off with Salvager and Fire Whiplash. So, let's get round number two started. First up, we have the Zombie Mohawk Warrior taking on your previous champ. And it looks like it's going to be your previous champ. And yes, it is. Gold Bakugan Dragonoid. Inverse Alien Invasion. Ooh, I think we have a bad bounce for Crustacean. And we do. Hunter's Max D is closer and he'll get the win. Man, all these bad bounces are killing everyone. Okay, that was a bad choice of words. Anyways, Whiplash Reveal the Steel is getting the win. Let's check the bounces here. It looks... Oh, gotta move my hand. It looks like Blue Thunder has uh, one tire... No. Yeah, one tire. And Wonder Woman has two tires. So Wonder Woman upsets Zombie Blue Thunder. First ever Zombies versus Zombies battle. And it's gonna be Megalodon getting the win. It's gonna be Nitro Neon's Dragon. Team Ents got the head start. Can Jurassic Attack come back? No. Team Ents will get the win. It's gonna be Stone Crusher getting the win. Blackout Max D with the block. Looks like Avenger. Can Captain's Curse come back? No. Avenger's moving on. It's gonna be the Ice Baku gone, Dragonoid. Oh yeah, he'll get the win. Earthshaker's moving on. Maximum Destruction has the lead, but I think Gravedigger came back. Yes, he will. He'll get the win. And your final race of round number two is gonna be between Salvager and Fire Whiplash. Salvager's moving on. Alrighty guys, so these 16 trucks do get a total of 2 points for event number 8, so sorry guys, better luck next time. So now, here are your trucks in round number 3, we are going to kick it all off with your previous champ in the Gold Bakugan Dragonoid. Yeah, a lot more great races here in round number 3, I'm really excited for all of these races. Ended it all off with Salvager and Zombie Gravedigger, so here we go. First up we have your previous champ taking on the Gold Bakugan Dragonoid. It's going to be your previous champ. Ember Sailing Evasion takes out the Hunter's Max D. We got ourselves a Reveal the Steel battle. What? There's another wild race. Wonder Woman will get the win. 
Wow, great race by both trucks, it looks like. And it looks like Dragon is almost past the board, and he's, like, Megalodon is, doesn't even have a tire pressed up against there, so Dragon's moving on. T-Mens has the lead, and he'll hold on to that lead. What another great race! Golly, these, these races are wild. But Blackout Max D is moving on. It's going to be Earthshaker with a big win. Well, this dude's back. Please don't jump down. And you jump down. Thank you, dog. Hey, can you move? Thank you. Your final race of round number three is going to be between the Zombie Gravedigger. What are what now are you... Dude, what are you doing? I don't know what he's doing. Your final race of round number three is going to be between the Zombie Gravedigger and Salvager. It is going to be what a great race. Salvager will get the win. Alrighty, guys. So these eight trucks do get a total of three points for your vet number eight. That's right in the middle. So that might help you or that might um not help you i don't know and by the way i went to go check the last race between zombie grave digger and salvager they both returned to the right so that's why it looked like the camera was like crooked or something so there you go and he wanted to say hi i don't know why you have to keep on like coming in every event or something i don't get it dog i really don't get it nope now you want down again just gonna walk right in front of me are you That's lovely. Here are your trucks in the quarterfinals. We are going to kick it all off with the uh, your previous champ taking on Inverse Alien Invasion. I don't know what the heck he's doing now. He's being weird. Um, then we have uh, <laughs> Nitro Neon's Dragon taking on Reveal the Steel. Wonder Woman, Team Ents taking on Blackout. Max D, don't give me that look, dog, okay? Do you see a rat or something? I don't know. And your final race is going to be between Salvager and the Hunter's Earth Shaker. So... Here we go. Please go out. Please, please go, go. Thank the Lord. Now that Rogan is gone, we can finally get back to the normal event. Yay. So, first up we have Inverse Alien Invasion taking on your previous champ. Inverse Alien Invasion upsets your previous champ. That was one huge upset. Nitro Neon's Dragon's moving on. And what a race by both trucks. I have to stand up for this. They're both, like, sideways here. Oh, man, it looks like they're dead even. I'll move Blackout Maxty over. That is exactly where he was. And we'll move him straight over here. And it looks like he's going to win it just barely. So what a race. And your final race of the quarterfinals is going to be between the Hunter's Earthshaker and Salvager. It's going to be Earthshaker taking out Salvager. Alrighty, guys. So these four trucks do get a total of four points. Uh, that's right in the middle, like it, like um, I said with the guys who lost in round number three. So that might help you, or that might not help you. I don't know. But yeah, your points leader. And I'm pretty sure Salvager was in the top ten in the points. So I don't know if that's going to shake it up or not. Anyways... Here are your trucks in the semifinals. I got the paper right here, so let's say some names. Inside of the uh, Inverse Alien Invasion, you have Monster Jam Collector Racing, The Master Jackinator. Inside of Blackout Max D, you have Monster Jam Collector 2007. And inside the Hunter's Earthshaker, you have Mega Monster Jam 97A. So, if I can recall really quickly, Dragon... Has Dragon won? Yeah, Dragon... Black Eye Max D and Earthshaker have all won, but Inverse Alien Invasion hasn't, so who will be your champion? Will we have a new champion, or will we have a, ourselves another two-time champion? We'll find out. But first up, it is the Nitro Neon's Dragon taking on Inverse Alien Invasion. And Inverse Alien Invasion upsets Dragon! So who's gonna join Monster Jam Collector Racing in the championship race? Mega Monster Jam 97A or Monster Jam Collector 2007. Oh, he had a bad flip. I don't know what the heck happened to Blackout Max D. His wheels, I'm pretty sure, were straight, so I think we're good. But Max D takes out Earthshaker. So these two trucks do get a total of five points for event number eight. 
uh, that is very good. That might help you guys in the points. Uh, just, you guys both just came up a little bit short, so better luck next time, you guys. So, in the championship race of event number eight, inside of Inverse Alien Invasion, you have Monster Gym Collector Racing. And inside of in, in inside of the Blackout Max D, you have Monster Gym Collector 2007. So, Monster Gym Collector 2007 has made it to the championship race and actually won it. Alien Invasion has not, so we'll see what happens in this championship race. So here's the first race. An inverse alien invasion wins it with a block. Will Monster Jam Collector Racing win event number 8 and get a total of 7 points, definitely moving him up in the point standings? Or will Monster Jam Collector 2007 get a win in tight and force another race? It does not matter. Monster Jam Collector Racing has done it in the inverse alien invasion, winning event number 8. So now let's go over, let's go to the overall points for this season. All right, guys. So here are the total points for uh, season one, updated to event number eight. So Mac Bulldog Mac is still your points leader with thirty six points. Salvager Monster Jam Firestorm is still in second place with thirty three points. He is three points behind. Blackout Max D is three points behind. Dragon is five points behind. Zombie Blue Thunder is nine points behind. Uh, Hunter Search Shaker is ten points behind. Inverse Alien Invasion is is also 10 points behind. Zombie Megalodon is 12 points behind. Decade of Destruction Max D is 13 points behind. And BKT is 14 points behind. So that is your top 10. So now just look to find your name. There was a lot, a lot of movement in the points. It took me forever to get this done. But I finally got it done. So you just got to find your name here and see how many points you have. And then we have four guys who have still not made it past round number one. Mohawk Warrior, Out of the Ultra Savage, Hunter's Son of Digger, Shane Lickfarty 2, uh, Soldier Fortune, Jesus Esparza, and last, Fire Monster Mod Husky, Monster Jam Dallas. So, hopefully those four guys can get a win in event number uh, nine. So, yeah. So, that is how event number eight turned out, guys. We got ourselves a br brand new champion. So, congratulations to Corbin, Monster Jam Collector, Monster Jam Collector Racing. You completely deserved it, man. So sorry, so sorry to Monster Jam Collector 2007 Max. Had a great run out there. Just came up a tiny bit short. So, make sure to crush that like button if you guys like this video. Why not consider subscribing? It's 100% free, and you guys can always undo it. By the way, guys, we did it. We hit 500 subscribers. I thank you so much. Y'all are freaking amazing. So now we're on the road to 550 subscribers. I can't wait to hit 555. That'll be a fun number. Uh, and also, why not why not follow me on Instagram at MonsterJamFan0311. You guys get exclusive content on stuff that I am going to post, including my Christmas haul, which should be coming up this year. So I'm really excited for that. Um, I've been doing that ever since 2017. And... Oh man, the 2017 Christmas haul. If you want to watch that, that is a great throwback to my squeaky voice. So, uh, um, you, you also get to reserve po trucks for points competitions and sign up series. So, it's really worth it, but I'm not forcing y'all to. So, anyways, this is Monster Jam Fan 0311 signing out.